With oversized tires, rugged braking systems, and spoilers engineered for control, Stoll aircraft thrive where ordinary planes cannot. Their short takeoff and landing ability lets them tackle rough, narrow strips that would ground most other aircraft. These machines are the backbone of backcountry flying, trusted for bush operations, hunting trips, search and rescue, and getting supplies into remote locations. In many cases, they need only a sliver of cleared ground to lift off or touch down. With that spirit of adventure in mind, here are some of the finest Stoll planes built to launch and land from just about anywhere. Draco Airplane the Draco is one of the most extreme bush planes ever created, turning the backcountry flying world on its head. Built from a heavily modified PZL Wilga, Draco was the vision of Mike Patey, who transformed the rugged Polish airframe into a machine with power and performance that few thought possible. At its heart is a Pratt & Whitney PT-6, a turboprop engine producing 680 horsepower, giving Draco thrust more in line with a business turboprop than a light utility aircraft. This power translates into jaw-dropping short takeoff and landing performance. Draco can leap off the ground in under 100 feet, climb at over 4,000 feet per minute, and settle onto rough strips shorter than a football field. Oversized landing gear, Tundra tires, and high-lift wing modifications allow it to operate where few other aircraft dare to go. Beyond raw performance, it carries modern avionics, luxurious cabin touches, and a design that blends brute force with refined control. Mall M7 The Mall M7 is an American-built bush plane celebrated for its strength, utility, and remarkable short field performance. Produced by Mall Air of Georgia, the M7 carries forward the Mole family's tradition of designing rugged, fabric-covered aircraft capable of tackling demanding backcountry missions. With seating for up to five and generous cargo space, it offers a practical balance between family travel, utility hauling, and adventure flying. Depending on the model, the M7 is powered by engines ranging from 180 to 260 horsepower, most often the Lycoming O540, giving it plenty of thrust for both short strips and heavy loads. Its takeoff distances can be as short as 300 feet, with landing rolls averaging about 400 feet, making it ideally suited for unimproved fields, gravel bars, and mountain strips. Large flaps, a high lift wing, and powerful control surfaces allow the pilot to handle steep approaches with confidence, while rugged landing gear with Tundra tire options ensures durability on rough ground. American Champion Scout The American Champion Scout is a classic high-wing tail dragger built for rugged flying, combining traditional design with modern refinements. First introduced in the mid-1960s, the Scout was developed as a stronger, more capable evolution of earlier Champion aircraft, designed to handle utility work, bush flying, and backcountry operations. With a steel tube fuselage, fabric covering, and straightforward construction, it is built to withstand demanding environments while remaining easy to maintain. Powered most often by a Lycoming O360 engine, producing 180 horsepower, the Scout delivers solid performance, whether flying off paved runways or venturing into rough terrain. Its stall capability is one of the reasons the Scout has remained popular for decades. With a takeoff run of about 500 feet and a landing roll of roughly 450 feet under typical conditions, it can access short grass fields, dirt strips, and remote areas with confidence. The high lift wing design, combined with large flaps and responsive handling at low speeds, gives pilots excellent control during short approaches and tight landings. It blends classic tail dragger handling with reliable short field performance, making it a trusted choice for bush pilots, recreational aviators, and anyone who values the ability to go beyond ordinary airstrips. Birdman Chinook The Birdman Chinook is a Canadian-designed ultralight aircraft that first appeared in the late 1970s, gaining recognition for its simplicity, lightweight construction, and short takeoff and landing performance. 
Built with a high wing configuration and a pusher engine layout, the Chinook provides excellent visibility and stable handling, making it well suited for sport flying and operations from short or unimproved strips. Its lightweight airframe, paired with efficient wing design, allows it to lift off the ground in as little as 150 feet under favorable conditions, a distance that places it among the most capable ultralights in terms of stall performance. Landing is equally efficient, requiring only about 200 feet, which gives pilots confidence when operating from tight clearings, grass fields or small private strips. The aircraft's low stall speed further enhances safety during approaches and landings, ensuring smooth and controlled descents even at reduced airspeeds. With its responsive controls and forgiving flight characteristics, the Chinook remains a favorite among ultralight pilots who enjoy flying in confined spaces. Its ability to operate with such short distances reflects careful aerodynamic design and efficient power-to-weight balance, qualities that made the Chinook stand out as both a practical and enjoyable aircraft in its class. Aeropract A-22 Foxbat The Aeropract A-22 Foxbat is a light sport aircraft designed with simplicity, safety and short field performance in mind. Built in Ukraine and flown worldwide, it has earned a reputation as a dependable backcountry and recreational aircraft. The Foxbat features a high wing design with excellent visibility thanks to its large bubble doors and expansive side windows, making it ideal for sightseeing, aerial photography, or low and slow exploration. Powered by the Rotax 912 ULS engine, which produces 100 horsepower, the aircraft cruises efficiently while offering remarkable control and responsiveness. Depending on conditions and load, the Foxbat can take off in as little as 295 feet, providing pilots with access to short grass strips or tight, unimproved fields. Landing distance is equally impressive, requiring only about 295 feet to come to a safe stop, aided by effective flaperons and low stall speeds, around 28 knots. This makes it an outstanding choice for remote operations where space is limited. It combines low operating cost, ease of handling and reliable short field capability, giving pilots the freedom to explore terrain where larger aircraft cannot venture. Pilatus PC-6 Porter The Pilatus PC-6 Porter is a Swiss-designed utility aircraft that has become legendary for its rugged reliability and extraordinary short takeoff and landing performance. First flown in 1959, it was built to go where few other airplanes could operate, serving roles from mountain rescue and bush, flying to skydiving and military transport. Its distinctive high wing, fixed landing gear and boxy fuselage are all about function, allowing it to carry heavy loads into remote areas with ease. Powered most often by the Pratt and Whitney PT-6, a turboprop engine producing around 550 horsepower, the Porter delivers exceptional thrust and efficiency. On short, rough strips, the PC-6 demonstrates why it is a true stall specialist. It can take off in about 640 feet, even when loaded, and land in less than 500 feet, thanks to its large flaps, low stall speed, and robust wing design. Pilots often describe the Porter as being able to land almost anywhere, making it indispensable in operations across jungles, deserts, and high-altitude mountain airstrips. Just Superstall The Just Aircraft Superstall is a modern kit-built bush plane designed to push the limits of short takeoff and landing performance. Introduced in the early 2000s by Just Aircraft in South Carolina, the Superstall combines lightweight construction with specialized design features that make it one of the most capable backcountry aircraft available to private pilots. Built from a tube and fabric structure, it seats two and can be powered by engines ranging from 100 to 180 horsepower, often with the Rotax 912 or Titan engines providing outstanding power-to-weight ratios. What sets the Superstall apart are its unique high-lift devices and rugged landing gear. 
Full-span, leading-edge slats deploy automatically to keep airflow attached at very low speeds, while large Fowler-style flaps create enormous lift and drag for steep approaches. Oversized Tundra tires paired with long-travel shock-absorbing gear allow it to handle rough terrain with ease. In practice, the Super Stoll can take off in less than 150 feet and land in under 200 feet, rivaling or even surpassing many traditional bush aircraft. For pilots seeking the thrill of extreme stole operations on riverbanks, mountaintops, or tight pastures, the Just Super Stole delivers an unmatched blend of agility, control, and rugged design, redefining what light bush planes can achieve. Helio Courier the Helio Courier is a legendary short takeoff and landing aircraft that has earned a reputation for going where few planes dare to operate. First flown in the 1950s, it was specifically engineered for remote missions, rugged terrain, and demanding conditions. Its high lift wing design, full span leading edge slats, and large flaps give it extraordinary low speed control and allow it to maintain stability even at remarkably slow air speeds. Powered by a reliable piston engine, the Courier can lift off the ground in as little as 200 feet when lightly loaded, making it an aircraft capable of departing from small clearings, jungle strips, or mountain valleys where other planes would never attempt to take off. Just as remarkable is its ability to stop within about 250 feet during landing aided by its powerful brakes and aerodynamic control features that keep it steady during steep approaches. The plane's rugged construction and trailing link landing gear further enable it to handle rough or uneven strips with confidence. Pilots often describe its handling at low speeds as docile and predictable, which has made it a favorite for bush flying, missionary work, and military operations where stole performance can make the difference between access and isolation. Quest Kodiak 100 The Quest Kodiak 100 is a modern bush and utility aircraft designed from the ground up to operate in some of the world's most challenging environments. First introduced in 2007, the Kodiak was created as a rugged, turbine-powered solution for humanitarian work, missionary flights, and commercial operators needing dependable access to remote locations. Built with an all-metal structure, it features a spacious cabin that can carry up to 10 passengers or heavy cargo with large double doors for loading bulky equipment. Power comes from the Pratt & Whitney PT-6, a 34 turboprop producing 750 horsepower, giving the Kodiak remarkable thrust and reliability. Its short takeoff and landing capability sets it apart. The Kodiak 100 can take off in just 934 feet at maximum takeoff weight and land in about 705 feet, allowing it to reach remote strips cut into jungles, mountains, or riverbanks with ease. Its advanced wing design with high lift devices ensures excellent low speed handling, while the robust landing gear absorbs the punishment of unimproved runways. Antonov An 2. The Antonov An-2, affectionately known as the Anushka or Annie, is one of the most recognizable utility biplanes ever built. Designed in the Soviet Union and first flown in 1947, it became famous for its ruggedness, enormous payload for its size, and ability to operate from the roughest strips. With its distinctive biplane wings, fabric-covered control surfaces, and massive radial engine, the AN-2 was engineered to be simple, reliable, and nearly unstoppable in the field. Capable of carrying up to 12 passengers or over a ton of cargo, it served in countless roles from agriculture to transport to parachute training. With full flaps, the AN-2 can take off in as little as 560 feet and land in roughly 600 feet even when fully loaded. Its enormous wing area and slow stall speed, around 30 knots, allow it to fly extremely slowly, to the point that with a strong headwind, it can almost hover in place. The Antonov Antu's blend of durability and stall capability has kept it in active service for over seven decades. 
it remains a legend of utility aviation, able to go where few other aircraft dare. 